very good morning dear students the next topic illustrated in your syllabus glyceryl esters so this is one of the common types of lipids which has lot of industrial applications we are going to discuss the details about glyceryl esters so before we are going to discuss glyceryl esters we should know what are fatty acid esters so fatty acid esters or fae are a types of esters that result from the combination of the fatty acid with the alcohol when fatty acid combines with the alcohol that is commonly known as fatty acid esters most of the all lipids are fatty acid esters so when the alcohol component is glycerol then the fatty acid esters are known as uh, glyceryl esters so i told you when the fatty acid interacted with the alcohol that leads to the formation of fatty acid esters and if the alcohol part is glycerol such a kind of alcohol that is if the alcohol is a glycerol such a kind of uh, fatty acid esters are known as glyceryl esters so the major bond that is stabilizing the formation of fatty acid esters as the name indicates that is ester linkage okay so fatty acid interacted with the alcohol via an ester linkage to form fatty acid esters this in generally fatty acid esters are three types monoglycerides diglycerides and uh, triglycerides and the dietary fats also are fatty acid esters because that comes under triglycerides so this you have already discussed in detail acyl glycerol triacyl glycerol all those things we have discussed but we are going to discuss it is as it is mentioned in the syllabus once again then monoglycerides are as you all know this is known as acyl glycerols or monoacyl glycerol are a class of glycerides which are composed of a molecule of glycerol linked with a fatty acid by an ester linkage okay simply we are having ch2oh choh and ch2oh so when it is combined with the fatty acid then you will be having mono glycerides so this glycerol contain both primary and secondary alcohol okay ch2oh one alcohol group is free choh another alcohol group is free they are known as primary and secondary alcohol so based on the position where the fatty acid is attached based on that this uh, monoglycerides are classified into two groups one monoacyl glycerols and two monoacyl glycerol okay so what do you mean by one monoacyl glycerol if the fatty acid is attached to the uh, the first or primary alcoholic group is known as one monoglycerides as you can see here okay this is the acyl residue this is the ester linkage okay c o o okay this is attached to the primary alcohol then if the fatty acid residues is attached to the secondary alcohol residue that is known as a two monoacyl glycerol so here you can see this is the second position it is attached okay so that is known as a two monoglycerides okay so uh, here you can see hydroxyl groups uh, here also you can see hydroxyl groups okay so these are the monoglycerides then diglycerides so that is diglycerides are diacyl glycerols the glycerol consisting of two fatty acid chain is covalently bounded or linked with the glycerol molecule by an ester linkage okay so you are having uh, three molecules of a uh, hydroxyl group in the uh, uh, the uh, the glycerol moiety and uh, two of those glycerol the hydroxyl groups are uh, replaced with the fatty acid and uh, which produce 
uh, dye glycerides okay here you can see and uh, these are also depending upon the position there are two types of uh, possible diglyceride one two diglycerides and uh, one three triglycerides so one two means the fatty acid are attached with the uh, the first and second position of the glycerol then one three diglycerides are the fatty acid is attached with the uh, one and three position of uh, uh, carbon atom that is present in the glycerol so this is commonly known as dig or dag okay so these are commonly used as the surfactant and they are also have a significant role in the food processing industry as a uh, an emulsifier okay so that is all about diglycerides then the next one is triglycerides the triglycerides are otherwise known as triazylglycerol so you, this you have already studied triazylglycerides this an esters of a uh, esters of fatty acid okay with the uh, uh, glycerol okay here all the three position of the uh, glycerol the uh, hydroxyl group that replaced with the fatty acid uh, chain okay and the triglycerides are the main constituent of a uh, body fat okay and in the human and uh, in the plants also in addition to animal plants also the triglycerides are commonly present okay and i told you animal uh, uh, triglycerides are fat and plant uh, uh, triglycerides are oil mainly and these triglycerides are consisting of uh, there are two types one is saturated fatty acid next one is unsaturated triglyceride saturated they are having only uh, uh, single bond and the unsaturated the fatty acid type in triglyceride can be unsaturated also okay so that consisting of double bond and uh, these are again two types mono and uh, poly if they have only one double bond then mono unsaturated fatty acid then if they are having many double bond then the poly unsaturated fatty acid or phospho okay so this we have already discussed the glycerol and three molecules of a uh, uh, fatty acid that is designated as r r dash or r2 dash or 1 2 3 okay so what will happen so when it is a uh, interacted with this particular three molecules so it will go and uh, bind with this uh, the hydroxyl group and they will form there is a formation of ester linkage this hydroxyl group and this hydroxyl group will be interacted and there will be removal of water molecule will takes place then what will happen this will be uh, attached the coo there is a new linkage will produce a coo the ester linkage and r r dash and r double dash will be attached and three molecules of water also will be takes place so in the case of this reverse rea reaction the triglycerides undergo i mean uh, under adequate condition they undergo they undergo uh, uh, hydrolysis okay then uh, with the presence of microbial lipase then three molecules of water will be interacted and combines combines with this uh, triglycerides and form a glycerol and a fatty acid in general so that means to say the triglycerides when it is interacted with the first molecules of water it will go and bind and that leads to the formation of diglyceride then the next molecule of water will come and bind the second position that leads to the formation of uh, monoglycerides then the next molecule of water will go and bind uh, with the third position of the i mean uh, the, that will cleave the third position of fatty acid then the hydroxyl group will go and uh, attach instead of all these three position then finally you will be having glycerol and uh, fatty acid so this is triglyceride so in detail we have discussed all those things then this glyceryl esters are the uh, fatty acid esters which are colorless sometimes they have brown powders or flakes or coarse powder sometimes they are granular sometimes they are waxy okay sometimes they are colorless to brown or semi fluid or a uh, liquid in nature they have lot of uh, physical properties okay and uh, these glyceryl esters are generally sometimes they are uh, colorless okay they don't have any color but sometimes they have a color okay they are uh, they have a characteristic uh, uh, characteristic uh, color similarly they have a smell also okay sometimes they have a uh, uh, smell or odor they are odorless sometimes they are uh, having characteristic odor okay uh, so uh, that is another important uh, case 
especially when this undergoes uh, the rancidity okay so they have a characteristic foul smelling okay so that is the another important uh, aspects then another important aspects the triglycerides are main constituent of the then the biofuel the production of biofuels have lot of relevance in biochemistry and microbiology and this the biofuel production by microbial sources or uh, uh, the other uh, animal or plant based sources are very very important uh, uh, i mean reaction in biochemistry that reaction is known as transesterification okay the biodiesels are typically fatty acid esters that is produced by transesterification of vegetable fats and oils which result in the replacement of uh, glycerol component with a different uh, alcohol okay that is one of the exchanging the position of the hydroxyl group that is one of transesterification okay so then they will substitute the hydroxyl group okay then this uh, glyceryl esters they have a fatty acid component and alcohol parts so the mon major monomeric fatty acid main uh, and alcohol parts uh, alcohol parts are the fatty acid part can be stearic acid oleic acid palmitic acid lauric acid sebacic acid distilled coconut fatty acid and c80 or c10 fatty acid but in the case of alcohol part they are isobutanol to ethyl hexanol tri met a uh, uh, tri methyl oil propane okay a uh, penta erythritol then mono ethylene glycol iso tri decanol then neo pentyl glycol propylene glycol and there are many more don't think only these are the alcohol part there are many more these are the some of the examples okay so these two in an adequate quantity if they form then it will produce the it will produce a glyceryl esters then one of the major types of esters in fatty acid that has lot of industrial application that is known as a fatty acid methyl esters okay or fame f a m e okay these are the esters of fatty acid they are the uh, the fame are the type of fatty acid esters that are derived by the transesterification of fat with the uh, alcohol which alcohol here it is methyl ester thus it is methanol okay so the fame is mainly obtained uh, with the uh, methanol okay so they are used to produce the detergent and the biodiesel in fact the principal component of biodiesel is fame which are obtained uh, from the vegetable oil by transesterification reaction okay and uh, this is very very important and uh, uh, generally in microbiology and biochemistry there are lot of important microorganism can be used for the production of biodiesel okay such as uh, uh, chlamydomonas uh, similarly microalgae all those kind of uh, i mean uh, uh, senidismus this all the things are algae okay similarly plants there are lot of plants also can be used for the bio diesel production okay pongemia jetropa okay all those can be all those things can be used okay and uh, this fames are typically produced by an alkali catalytic reaction between fat and uh, uh, methan methanol in the presence of the base okay such as sodium hydroxide or sodium methoxide or potassium hydroxide okay all those components can be used as the base for the for the production of fatty acid uh, methyl esters so this is what is the fatty acid methyl ester formation here i told you the triglycerol okay or triglycerides here you can see the glycerol part here this is the fatty acid part then what will happen when it is a uh, uh, combines with the uh, main uh, methanol ch3oh three molecules of methanol then this particular uh, the methanol this particular part uh, will go and uh, bind with the CH3 okay so R1 COO instead of uh, uh, CO uh, in the, instead of this one you will be having the uh, uh, this three molecules of CH3OH will be cleaved and uh, it will it will be uh, go and bind with the, uh, the CH3 and here also it will cleave and bind with the CH3 here also uh, it will bind with the CH3 so three molecules of hydroxyl group will be coming out that will go and bind uh, along with the CH2 
along with the CH along with the CH2 okay then you will be having CH2OH CHOH CH2OH then this is nothing but your blazer rod so this is the formation of uh, how fatty acid methyl esters are produced in the reverse reaction also the fatty acid methyl esters when it is treated with the uh, this one okay so the same thing okay this is the structure okay here you can see uh, how it is a uh, produced okay then you will be having uh, three molecules of this fatty acid methyl esters and uh, you will be having the glycero the formula this is the same thing here also it is the same okay then what are the major importance of this fame okay this uh, fame the physical characteristics of fatty acid methyl esters are which are very close to that of the fossil fuels such as diesel okay than the pure vegetable oil okay but the properties are depend on the types of the vegetable oil okay then a mixture of different fatty acid methyl esters is commonly referred to as biodiesel i told you these are the one of the major renewable alternative fuel nowadays you know that we are we are having a scarcity of uh, uh, petroleum products so the importers of microbiology we can use the natural sources for the production of biodiesel by transesterification reaction okay there comes the relevance of uh, microbiology and uh, biochemistry and uh, this fame has a physical properties similar to those of conventional diesel okay so they have a physical properties conventional a physical property almost similar to that of a conventional diesel i told you they are they are non toxic and uh, non uh, they, they are non toxic and that can be biodegradable uh, also the fame they are non toxic and uh, they are undergoes bio uh, degradation okay then the fatty acids esters are the biomarker for the consumption of ethanol in alcoholic beverages okay so fame can be used as a biomarker in the alcoholic beverages so these are the another important aspects of this fatty acid methyl esters then in general the application of fatty acid esters are the fatty acid esters can be used in a wide range of industries okay because they have a excellent lubricating properties they have excellent solvation property solvency and they are resistant to the oxidation okay because of all these three features made this component as the ideal component uh, for the production of various com uh, 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 main uh, uh, um, application various applications in the uh, industries they are also become more popular due to their uh, renewable content okay because they are derived from vegetable oil and animal uh, tallow they have a lot of renewable content okay then they have uh, the fatty acid esters have there are have a low volatility okay the volatility that means to say uh, the volatile i mean uh, the fractions okay uh, it will be they have uh, i mean a low volatile uh, features when compared with the many traditional solvent okay so making them suitable replacement for the solvent in the coating or ring or press room cleaner as well as the lubricants lubricants and uh, metal working fluids okay the fatty acid esters have a low volatile features because of that reason traditionally they are in comparison with the traditional solvent okay so because of this reason they are having they, are, they can be used as a replacement for the solvent that is used in industry okay in a coating industry or ring production industry or press room cleaner or uh, or uh, production of lubricants or a metal working uh, uh, fluids okay these are the applications of fatty acid uh, esters so this is all about the today's topic dear students so we can conclude and once again we can have a glance of the topic whatever we have uh, discussed today okay so today the we have discussed the introduction about the fatty acids and uh, glycerides then we have discussed the three types of fatty acid esters that is monoglycerides we have discussed in detail then the diglycerides we have discussed in detail the uh, triglycerides we have already discussed several times then the uh, one of the important types of commonly the common type of fatty acid esters are known as glycerol esters okay then the monomers of glyceryl esters okay 
and what are the major important uh, main monomers and uh, another most important types of uh, fatty acid uh, acid esters are uh, fatty acid methyl esters here the methanol methyl group will be replaced with the, the long carbohydrate uh, sorry the long fatty acid uh, group okay that is fatty acid methyl esters or fame then the structure and formation of fame we have discussed then what are the applications or uses of a fame and in general what are the applications of fatty acid uh, esters as including glyceryl esters so these are the major textbook as i said uh, biochemistry by jl jain you can use and biochemistry by leninger okay similarly a uh, strainer okay similarly void and void all this book you can uh, use for the study okay thank you dear students thank you for watching if you are having any doubts you can mail me or you can uh, ask me thank you very much